Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is Ben with Joyce Gaming Electronics. Today I'll be showing you guys how to tear down the new Series 9 mm Series 9 41mm Apple Watch. This is the one that just came out not too long ago. It has the titanium housing as well as the double tap on it. But we will be just doing the tear down video for this one today. So there's not much new features about this new Apple Watch other than it being titanium and um, as well as having a double tap but other than that it's basically the same as the series 8 so let's get started with the teardown so all the tools that you'll need will be uh, some tweezers just to get the screws a flathead a 0.6 screwdriver a spudger as well as some bags maybe just to keep the parts in its order and a pry tool as well as some alcohol and you'll need a, a heat gun or some sort of way to get some heat on the screen to pry it off as well as the back cover so let's get started <clears throat> so first off what we want to start on doing is I have my heat gun set to about 200 and we're just going to slowly go around the screen just like this Once you have went all around the watch on the screen, you're gonna grab your pry tool, apply a little bit of alcohol, and you're gonna go start going like this around the screen. Once you have went around the screen like that, you're gonna start slowly start prying it up just like this. And do that to all the sides. All right, looks like the screen has came off. And then we're gonna slowly tip it to this side, just like this. And now you can see that the screen is off. We're just gonna turn it on just to see that there's no lines on the screen as well as the screen's not damaged. We're gonna test the touch. Looks like the touch works as you can see. We're just gonna turn it off though. All right, next we're gonna start peeling this tape off just like you would do on a series seven. Just slowly go back like this. And next what we're gonna do is lay the screen down like this and grab the plastic spudger and lift up the connection points. And once we've done that, we're gonna peel it this way so out there we have it the screen has been disconnected you can remove this extra tape that comes with it just remove it off this one as well there we have it there's the series series 841 mil series 941 millimeter Apple Watch screen Looks to be all good. Next, we're gonna remove the battery and the Taptic engine. For the battery, we're just gonna grab the spudger, apply a little bit of alcohol into this crack right here. And then what we're gonna do is grab the flathead, start prying on this corner and on the other corner, and it will slowly come out. That was very easy. Came out pretty good, and you're just gonna remove this extra tape right here and next we're gonna do is the battery is connected right here to this connection so we're just gonna disconnect it there you have it we have disconnected the battery from this connection we're just gonna put it down for now all right, next what we're gonna do is take out these three screws that are holding the Taptic engine. So this one, this one, and this one. Once you have removed those three screws, we're gonna lift the Taptic engine up and we're gonna disconnect it from its 
connection point. And there we, we have it. The tap thing engine has been taken off. We're gonna place that to the side. Then we have these connection points that we can just disconnect with the spudger. Because they will all need to be disconnected once we are removing the motherboard. Sweet. Next, what we're gonna do is grab the 0.6 screwdriver again. And we're gonna remove these two screws. This is holding down the back cover with the motherboard to the housing. So now we're just gonna remove those. And then there are two more right here. They're kind of hidden under this black tape, but they should be right here. You could feel it with the, with the screwdriver, kind of feel where it's located. Do the same to the other one. Once you have it disconnected, or once you have the screws loosened, you're just gonna remove it. And there we have it. We have the connection points that are holding down the motherboard and the back cover and to the housing. We have those off now. And as you can see, that's how it should look. It should look pretty empty now. And next what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the back cover. We're gonna grab our heat gun or whatever, whatever type of heat you guys can use. You could use a hair gun as well. And then we're just gonna go around just like this. Once you could feel that it's warm, we're just gonna let it cool off just for a quick second because it's pretty hot. We're gonna grab our flathead, and then from where the crown is, you're gonna go all the way to the left where these screws were holding down the back cover and motherboard. We're gonna go into there, and we're gonna push down with the flathead. Make sure you don't press on the motherboard, but you go right here where the back cover is. Just like on the Series 8. Just some constant pressure and it should come off just like that. Here is the housing on the Series 941. This one's just the GPS variant. I'm gonna put that to the side. Next we're gonna remove the motherboard, which it has just that connection right there, just like the Series 8. You could just remove it, remove it with the flathead. Be careful. And there we go. Here is the Series 9 41 millimeter board. I'm gonna put that put that to the side for now. All right, and here is the back cover. It's also very similar to the Series 9, the internals, as well as the back. It's very similar. We're just gonna place that to the side. So yeah guys, there we have it. That is how you take apart a Series 9 41 millimeter GPS unit. If you guys don't feel comfortable in doing a repair yourself, you can always send it to us. It looks to be that everything is almost identical to the Series 8, other than the double tap and the titanium housing, but everything else looks almost identical. The screen looks the same, the battery, the Taptic Engine, basically everything looks the same. Thank you for watching guys and be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys want us to do next. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for some more awesome videos. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye.